I will tell you about the night that my sister Nancy died. So Nancy was very troubled. And uh, again, in that era, so now we're talking about the mid 1970s. Uh, we didn't have the term, they didn't refer to people as bipolar. I think now they would, that would probably be what she would be called. Uh, but she had severe mood swings. She was very impetuous. Um, she got psychotic. She she had hallucinations and delusions. I, I've seen some medical records where it refers to her as having schizophrenia or schizoaffective disorder. I kind of think more she was, and I, I'm not a medical professional by any stretch, but knowing what I do now know, having spent so many years you know, writing about the mental health system. My hunch is that she was really bipolar, but had psychotic features. Nonetheless, she was quite ill and it was very disruptive. You know, she could be violent. Uh, she could be very menacing. She could be very, she was hilarious and she was brilliant, but she could be a tough one to live with. So I steered clear of her. I was four years younger than she, um, but we, I, I just knew to to stay out of her path. Um, and when she got sicker and sicker, I was a teenager and I, I was frustrated with her. I was angry with her for taking up all the oxygen in the room and making my mom and dad so worried. You know, my dad was a very emotional guy and he would, he'd cry. He would be so worried about her and so sad. And my mom was not one to show great emotion I think maybe that went hand in glove with her depression and a more of a flat affect, but I knew that she was very worried about her. 